Wagwan! Welcome to Matty Dwyer's Finishing Academy. Here we're working on awkward finishing. This is the finishing when the ball is bouncing up and down in the box. Nobody knows what to do. We want to give you the confidence to be able to, be able to approach this ball and finish it. So here we're working on crossings that be bouncing up and down. Two main concerns to be thinking about when we're working on these awkward balls, especially crosses, is the angle of approach. Let's look here. We can see the crosses are coming from near this angle here. The young player is approaching from this angle here. As you can tell, it's a very harsh angle that leaves a very narrow window of striking the ball. Therefore, it's important that the young player starts to approach from this angle here. As you can tell, it leaves a much larger window to be able to strike the ball window of time. So coach your young player to make it as easy as possible on himself by approaching from the right angle. Let's see how the player deals with this understanding. As you can tell, slowly he makes his way to the back side to gain more success. Now he's making good contact with the ball, but the ball seems to be going over the net. So what's happening here? Coach Marty explains that he seems to be leaning back here. So let us examine a couple of his shots and see what is happening. Slow motion. Again, we see the ball go over the net. Try to watch one more time. Again, the ball goes over the net. Let's examine what is happening. The young player sees the ball coming and takes one large step towards the ball. Because it is one large step, he is forced to swing at an imbalanced state. So here we can check his angle. Realize he is most definitely leaning back. The ball goes over. Now we want to correct this, instead of leaning back, we want to make ourselves compact here. So here we can see Coach Matty, as he strikes it, he gets his shoulders over the ball and he continues his motion through, all the way through, he does not stop his body. So one more time without a ball, he continues through several steps after he makes contact. Already the young player is continuing his motion. Better. Even better. There his motion continues. Here, yeah, even though his steps, even though he didn't take several steps, it's enough where he continues his motion through his momentum follows through. And finally, his last shot is one of his better. When he makes contact, he strikes it and continues with several steps afterwards. It's a good habit, even though you don't necessarily have to take three or four steps after. It's a good to build this habit to make sure your body motion is continuing in line with the direction you want your shot to go. 
one more time we see the direction of his run is in this direction now let's watch where the ball goes almost directly in line with that so thank you remember these two things angle of approach and continuing our motion through the ball thank you